Now, during the Renaissance, with a revival of interest in classical antiquity, there was an exploration of ancient learning. Hello, my name is Courtney Davis, and I'm an associate professor of art history here at UVU. And today we'll be talking about the art history term, Renaissance humanism. Simply put, Renaissance humanism is a return to the philosophies of classical antiquity. It focuses on human achievement, intellect, and potential. I like to think about Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man as a perfect example of humanism because it puts the human right at the center of the natural world rather than religious concepts. The origins of humanism can be traced back to pre-Socratic Greece. Now, there was a strong development during the age of the great philosophers. Socrates talked about knowing thyself, and Aristotle focused on rationalism and ethics, all of which would become important cornerstones to the philosophy of humanism. Now, during the Renaissance, with a revival of interest in classical antiquity, there was an exploration of ancient learning. The Italian poet and writer Petrarch is often heralded as the father of humanism, came from 14th century Padua. Now, the ideas of humanism can be seen very strongly in artworks like Raphael's School of Athens, a fresco from the Apostolic Palace in Vatican City. Right at the center of the School of the Athens stands Plato and Aristotle, who were surrounded by Greek philosophers, scientists, mathematicians, and thinkers. Even the way in which the painting is composed reflects Renaissance humanism, with its balance focus on geometry, mathematics, engineering, and optics. Renaissance humanism opened up an entirely new world of subject matter for artists. There was a shifting away from a focus almost entirely, at least in Italy, on religious subject matter to subjects uh, that celebrated human achievement, exploration, and individuality. And there you have it, the art history term, Renaissance humanism in a nutshell. Thank you.